Yeah, it's a very unique piece of equipment. It's not very sophisticated, but it's unique. Early on in my woodworking years, I was fascinated with uh, guys making a living doing woodworking. And I'd been making violins and all kinds of stuff. And I was looking in a classified one day, and I got uh, I got a phone. I found a phone number for uh, a guy up near North Fork, and uh, I sp spoke with him, and he was kind enough to show me around his place. He was kind of, I think he thought maybe I was going to buy him out or something, but it was more about uh, trying to figure out uh, how to get started in the business. And I spoke with him for a couple hours, and uh, he realized I was just uh, pumping for information, and then he went out and started showing me everything, you know, because he saw a kindred spirit, you know. He had so much epoxy on his floor. I bet it was six inches deep in drips from making these epoxy clocks and uh, tables and stuff. He lived in the foothills, so he had all kinds of that kind of material available up there. And uh, he was just determined to work out of his house, and that's what he did. And just the remnants of everything. And he had a machine that was similar to this, except it had an elbow here and an elbow there, so it kind of could, could move in weirdest, weird angles across this uh, plane. And uh, I went looking for something online that would surface like that. And I found that online. Uh, in New Zealand, it was uh, New South Wales from Owen Machinery. Uh, they might still be in business. I don't think they make this rig anymore. I think they make a CNC cutter type thing. This thing's ugly because I, I keep doing my finish work here too and I don't cover it. But uh, I don't care. You know, uh, some things you care about, some things you don't. Uh, this is for work and work it does. I've had it for 25 years at least. I think I paid almost $7,000 for this machine. And it came without any instructions how to put it together. And it was in five box, four, three boxes. And all it had was little orange stickers that were numbered. And if it had a three and a three, or a five and a five, you know those parts went together. That's all it had. And I put it together. It took me three days to put it together. And then the very next day, a video came telling you how to put it together. <laughs> and I had put it together right. So uh, I've worn out a lot of stuff on it, but like it's supposed to track in, in uh, these are supposed to be uh, hard uh, uh, positions for the, the track to sit in. You're supposed to lift this and it's supposed to increment down and go one hard spot to the next. Well, the mechanism's all worn out and uh, I haven't tried to fix it. You know, I took this apart and looked in there. It looked more over my head, so I, I decided to just leave it. So I have to hold it in position as I cut because it wants to run <laughs> that way. And so uh, other than that, it, it's still hanging in there. It has the original everything. It's bolted to the floor. It came with this trolley, which is bolted to the floor. And this trolley goes frontwards and backwards. <laughs> It'll fall right off the end. So I have a vice grip on that end. And uh, I have actually a hole in that wall for uh, extended length working. Right now it's covered up with a piece of plywood, but there is actually a hole on the other side of that plywood that allows me to uh, uh, stick a board through there with my forklift on the other side of that wall. Because <laughs> that's how I did the, the 18 footers that uh, I turned out not long ago. See, but it doesn't really do anything that the CNC does except level stuff, and it's not really very good at that, uh, because this floor is not really that flat, and uh, it has a bias towards that drain, because it's a beekeeper's house. <laughs> you know, everything was washed, washed the floor, washed the floor every day. And so uh, I set it up in here, and I think maybe that part of the, the rig is at a different plane than these legs, so when I roll the trolley that way, it gains a sixteenth of an inch, or quarter inch or whatever it is, and when I roll it this way, it loses it. So I keep this thing in one place and then just surface with it in one place. And 
I try to line this up with that, and that's good enough. I, I really need to take this redwood off and put on some more redwood. And uh, this is about the fourth time I'll be doing that. I, I use these as a uh, disposable utility because I need some place that's uh, sturdy enough that I can run my forklift in and dump stuff off on it. Yeah, it's cheap and, and free. I have, I sawed one great big redwood log and I still have it, most of it, you know, so. If you like the videos, please subscribe. It helps me do more videos and bring more content to more users. Thank you.